It's crazy because I be telling people, and this really like, it bothers them. A lot of people will cry when I really break this down to them. But I explain like, if you got children, as adolescents, we get to a certain age and we realize like, our parents really didn't have it figured out. Like they were just doing the best they can. And it's like when you realize that, that's when you start listening to people in the world. You know how you see an 18, 19 year old and they stop listening to mama said do this or your daddy said and they start really just doing their own thing. And we look at it as defiance. But that's that moment when it click in their mind that, especially for urban people, my mama ain't got no bunch of generational wealth. She ain't got no bunch of money. If I needed a rack right now to do something or if I needed, I wanted a car or to borrow 10,000, she ain't got it. So really all the shit she was telling me was just her surviving day to day. I got to get out here in the world and figure this shit out. And then we realized like we wasn't taught stress management. We never had no conversations about how emotions will life up if you make decisions based this is stuff that we wasn't taught we taught how to cook clean match up your clothes make sure your drawers clean don't leave out the house without brushing your teeth shit like that but nobody said like you could be going through a heartbreak in a relationship and be overwhelmed with emotion but you still got to take your ass to work and if you go to them people job acting crazy they will fire your ass you won't be able to pay your bills as your mama i don't got no money to pay your bill you will be homeless you have to come back here people will start judging you because you live at home like nobody's saying this shit nobody's saying like like, if you don't have credit, you're going to have to work your ass off to buy everything because people are going to look at you like if you ain't got the money, you ain't got nothing. This just the real shit that's just not being taught. Everybody, I think we on a wave right now, like entrepreneurship. And I think what people ain't telling us neither is like open up a business and celebrating an LLC or a flyer you made saying your building is now open. That ain't shit. You're supposed to celebrate the numbers when you actually bringing in some revenue. We have grand openings and we celebrating the idea that we went and got some debt. We ain't, you know what I mean? Like, and nobody's saying like, hey, good job on becoming an entrepreneur, but until you make back what you just put in, you ain't accomplished shit. That's just a facade you created in your mind that you're now some sort of boss. You know, everybody online, I'm a boss, bitch. I got a house online. I'm a boss, bitch. I, you know, I got my own music label. I, I own my own music. Ain't nobody buying that shit. So you ain't making no, you a boss of what? Nothing. But this is the stuff that's like not being told to us. So, you know, for me, I just... I'm just, I'm, I'm locked in on that. I'm locked in on like the real shit that's not being said and spoken on. So. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification game for hitting the like button and the video with Miss Star Chat. Y'all are villains ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. This was a, um, a very deep topic to talk about, man. And I'm glad that she, um, pointed to the urban people, uh, AKA minorities, black people, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> because this is something that's huge in our community, right? This is something that's huge in our community. I'm not going, I'm not going to say that most black people, you know, um, I, I can't say all of us go through this, but majority of us do. And I fall in that majority. I didn't have a mom that, you know, had generational wealth. Hell, I don't even have a mom to, you know, and a father. Let me not put it all on my mom. I'm sorry. I don't have a mom and a dad that has generational wealth. I don't even have a mom or a dad where I can call them and I say, hey, listen, um, I'm planning a trip to wherever the hell I'm planning a trip to. Can you give me $5,000? Not loan. I ain't say loan. Can you give, give me, <laughs> can you give me $5,000? So I want to take this trip to Africa. I want to take this trip to Australia. I want to go to Bora Bora, get my mentor in order. You know what I'm saying? I want to do this, that, or third, blah, 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 blah. Just, just, just so, just so I can be, get my, um, get, get myself correct because I need that 5,000. I don't have that. I don't have that. And just like she said, like, yo, listen, like, you get to once you get to a certain age where you, where it, just like she said where it clicks and you realize that your parents was just literally living check to check was living day by day it's not really much that you can that that that, that they can say to you I told y'all ain't I ain't got nobody in my family that that graduated from college I was the first man in my in my damn family to graduate with a goddamn high school diploma let alone an associates to the bachelors and the masters. I didn't have anybody to sit there and tell me, hey, yo, um, you know, uh, you, you should do ABC one, two, three because of reason, because of these reasons. 
And when they did come and tell me, it, you know, the few that did come and tell me that, I didn't want to hear it because I'm looking at them like, bro, get the hell out of here. Like I told y'all, <clears throat> my uncles was telling me, oh, yeah, go to college, da 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 My uncles was convicted felons. So imagine a convicted felon telling you to go to college. Bro, what the hell are you telling me to go stay in school or go to college for? You ain't do it. Why are you telling me? And that's what she's talking about. That, that's, in my opinion, that's what she meant when she said that. Like, once, once, once you get to a certain age where it clicks, you don't want to hear nothing else from your parents because you realize your parents ain't even did the half of the crap that they're telling you to damn do. Why are you telling me to do ABC123 and this? No. No. I would prefer to hear it from the horse's mouth. And unfortunately, we don't have that many options when it comes to black community. We don't have that many options of people that we can that, that can tell, or at least in my family, I should say. We don't have that many options of people that can sit there and talk to us and tell us these types of things and give us a goddamn warning. Hey, yo, don't do ABC123 because of ABC123. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't have that. We don't. So forgive me if I tell, you know what I'm saying, my, my mom or my dad or my whoever, hey, yo, listen, I, I don't want to hear that because you didn't do this or, or, or whatever. No. These are the types of things that really, really hurts us in our community as a whole in general. But these are the types of few of the things that hurts our community, man, because it's just like, yo, who the hell can I run to? Who can I ask? Who can I look up to if I needed uh, help on creating a business loan? That's not family. Who can I look up to? Who can I ask in my family? Hey, yo, listen, um, I want to start a, uh, you know, a, a business doing ABC one, two, three. Do you mind giving me 10,000 since you got a hundred thousand saved in a bank account? Anyway, can you give me 10,000? So I can do this answer nine times out of 10. It's not going to be able to happen. Nine times out of 10. They don't even have that in a bank account. Just like she said, she like, she, she was saying towards the beginning, she like, yo, my mama ain't got $5,000 to give me just off the strength. That's facts. Barely got a stack. I might be able to get a hundred, maybe. But other than that, it's a hell no. Other than that, it's a hell no. So when I come to y'all and I tell y'all these types of things that's been going on that plagues the black community in particular, um, the stuff that like this has been going on in our black community that's been plaguing us, where I said, um, I said this like four or five years ago. I said this in, uh, God damn, the, uh, the goal is to make it out the hood, not stay there forever. I said that in that video. If I remember, I'll try to put that at the top if I remember. But I said that in that video where I was like, yo, listen, like so many damn black people in our community are so lost. We have nowhere, nowhere to go. We have nobody that can even goddamn help us or give us a goddamn lending hand because the people that's in our family is just as messed up, if not more messed up than we are. So we can't do those types of things. We can't ask anyone in our family for help because there is nobody in our family that can help. That's like you going to a goddamn homeless guy that's begging for for, for, for 50 cent and you ask him, hey, yo, bro, you mind, you mind spot me $500? He going to look at you like $500? Like, bro, I ain't even got $500. In my, in, you know, myself, I got $10 in my pocket. <laughs> But that's the point that, I, that, that I'm trying to make about this whole entire thing. That's the point I'm trying to make about this whole entire thing. As far as the black community getting better as, as a <clears throat> coming together and getting better and doing this and doing that together. So that when we one day have these kids, our kids can be straight. I refuse to bring a child into the world and my ass is not financially state. Not first of all, I'm not married, number one. Um, but not not just not married, but just not financially stable, financially secure. If my child was to grow up today on some damn man, my teeth crick and I need damn braces, I should be able to turn around, pull that goddamn money up out my goddamn bank account and keep it moving, pay it off in its entirety for braces. Facts. I should be able to afford whatever my child needs by three. I've told y'all this over and over and over again. If you cannot buy something, if you cannot buy three times the amount of whatever it is, it is not for you. It's not for you. So why are you having kids in your ass damn living at home with your goddamn mama working a part-time job at Dollar Tree? 
Why in the hell are you over here spending $300 for goddamn shoes and your ass only make $500 every two weeks? It doesn't make sense. But for whatever reason, every goddamn black person I know is always trying to rush to do this, that, third. And I love what she was saying towards the end of the video. She's like, oh, I got my own business. I'm a business person. I'm doing this, that, and that third. You're not a goddamn business person until you made profit. Until you've made actual profit, actual money. You are just another goddamn black person that owe goddamn money. That's it. That's all you are. I see stuff like this all the damn time. You know, minute black men and black women starting a million goddamn different businesses on Facebook, Instagram, all this, that, and the third, spending fifty, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. One chick bought. Um, I remember this one chick a couple years ago. She had bought a um some type of not a section. I don't know what you call it. Um, but she leased uh uh like a like a store in 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 a complex. This girl over here paying damn now a hundred thousand and some goddamn change. She over here talking about she needs to sell it because she couldn't afford it. She wasn't making enough revenue. She had to go back to working full time. And that hurt me because I'm like, yo, I, I know how I feel to want to do something, but you just don't know how. Nine times out of ten, she probably didn't even have family members that helped her out. Either with information or or with finances, but she probably didn't even have uh, people, family members to help her out. She probably had to figure everything out just like how I did through goddamn trial and error. And that's unfortunately, that's in majority, that's how it is in the black community. That's how it is. So I have nothing but the utmost respect um, for the, I don't know what this lady's name is. I need to find out, actually. I don't know who and what this lady's name is, but that's what, that's what the hell we're talking about. Just a touch on, you know, my, the, the, the whole, you know, the whole um, aspect of it, but in general, but that's what we're talking about. So forgive me for wanting to have all my goddamn ducks in a row. Forgive me for not wanting to put all my goddamn eggs in one basket. I'm sorry. But me knowing all these things from the stuff that I went through, from the stuff that my parents went through, from the stuff that all my goddamn neighbors in the goddamn hood went through. I don't want to go back to that situation of living in the goddamn hood. Worried about if a goddamn crackhead gonna be jump trying to jump in through my goddamn window, trying to steal my car, trying to do this, trying to do that. I don't have any of those worries right now anymore because I live in an upscale area now. I don't have to worry about any of those things. And it's only up from here. You are crazy as hell if you think I spent my whole entire life struggling just to finally make it out the goddamn hood just to end up back there. That's that's not happening, bro. I'm sorry. It's not happening. So shout out to this woman, because I know it was hard to say these types of things about her own parents. Hell, it's hard for me to say this about my own parents. If my mom or my dad hear this now, they, they probably going to be looking at me some type of way. But it's the damn truth. I know for a fact if I was ever in a jam, if I got fired today, just like how the lady said in the beginning, I forgot she said this too. Just like how she said in the, um, in the beginning of the video. Yo, if I got fired today, I can't ask my damn mom to pay, pay six months of my rent until I get back on my feet or my dad. I can't ask my dad, hey, yo, listen, bro, man, um, my car broke down on me. You mind, you know, spending $7,000 on, 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 on a car to buy me another car? I can't ask those type of questions. It's going to be a hell no. Facts. But that's the world that I damn lived in. That's the damn family that I was born in. I chose to accept it, and I chose to make something better out of it, made something out of nothing. That's what the hell I decided to do. Pull a whole dollar out of a goddamn dime. So shout out to this woman again, man. Like this, this lady basically cover all bases, man. I, again, I don't know who this lady is. I'm gonna try my best before I upload this video. I'm gonna try my best to do my research and see if I can find who this exactly who this woman is because she is the goat, man. So, um, anyway, y'all, um, you comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. What are your thoughts on the things that this lady said, man? From everything from um, you know, black people being born in this broken household, um, you know, being born in a broke and broken <laughs> household, um, to us not being able to depend on our parents financially, to us being able to, once we realize at a certain age, it starts clicking, we had to stray away from them because a lot of the times we realize, just like she said, you weren't doing anything but living check to check, living day by day, which is nothing wrong. You did what the hell you could. And I thank you for that. But there is nothing that that's of substance 
for me that can help me get to where I need to go. So I have to look for it elsewhere. I want y'all to comment on all those types of things, man. Comment on all that. Let me know what y'all thoughts is on this video, man. So, um, thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell symbol. So it's the end time. Make an upload notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure y'all hit that like. Make sure y'all hit that share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz. It's crazy because I be telling people, and this really, like, it bothers them. A lot of people will cry when I really break this down to them. But I explain, like, if you got children, as adolescents, we get to a certain age and we realize, like, our parents really didn't have it figured out. Like, they were just doing the best they can. And it's like, when you realize that, that's when you start listening to people in the world. You know how you see an 18, 19-year-old and they stop listening to mama said do this or your daddy said, and they start really just doing their own thing and we look at it as defiance. But that's that moment when it click in their mind that, especially for urban people, my mama ain't got no bunch of generational wealth. She ain't got no bunch of money. If I needed a rack right now to do something, or if I needed, I wanted a car or to borrow 10,000, she ain't got it. So really, all the shit she was telling me was just her surviving day to day. I got to get out here in the world and figure this shit out. And then we realized, like, we wasn't taught stress management. We never had no conversations about how emotions will fuck life up if you make decisions based this is stuff that we wasn't taught we taught how to cook clean match up your clothes make sure your drawers clean don't leave out the house without brushing your teeth shit like that but nobody said like you could be going through a heartbreak in a relationship and be overwhelmed with emotion but you still got to take your ass to work and if you go to them people job acting crazy they will fire your ass you won't be able to pay your bills as your mama i don't got no money to pay your bills. you will be homeless you have to come back here people will start judging you because you live at home like nobody's saying this shit nobody's saying like if you don't have credit you're gonna have to work your ass off to buy everything because people are gonna look at you like if you ain't got the money you ain't got nothing this just the real shit that's just not being taught everybody I think we on a wave right now like entrepreneurship and I think what people ain't telling us neither is like open up a business and celebrating an LLC or a flyer you made saying your building is now open that ain't shit you're supposed to celebrate the numbers when you actually bringing in some revenue we have grand openings and we celebrating the idea that we went and got some debt we ain't, you know what I mean? Like, and nobody's saying like, hey, good job on becoming an entrepreneur, but until you make back what you just put in, you ain't accomplished shit. That's just a facade you created in your mind that you're now some sort of boss. You know, everybody online, I'm a boss, bitch. I got a house on. I'm a boss, bitch. I, you know, I got my own music label. I, I own my own music. Ain't nobody buying that shit. So you ain't making no, you a boss of what? Nothing. But this is the stuff that's like not being told to us. So, you know, for me, I just... I'm just, I'm, I'm locked in on that. I'm locked in on like the real shit that's not being said and spoken on. So.